Hello everyone, I am Deepak Niyal and in this video I am going to discuss a very important topic that is how to start with competitive programming. In this video I am focusing on a uh, totally beginner kind of programmer who, who don't know how to program on a competitive platform. So in recent uh, or few in recent few examinations I have seen some of students uh, who are not uh, able to write even a single line of code or they they are just uh, starting with the, with the things like uh, int main and all that in C. It's not that uh, they don't know how to write code, but the problem is that they are not familiar with the uh, coding platforms uh, the companies are using. So what I'm going to tell you here in this video is you can you can practice on multiple platforms, and if you practice well or if you practice for uh, longer time, you will be able to crack the problems that you get in competitive examinations. So let us start with uh, a few uh, coding platforms. I have listed few of them here. So one of them is Google Code Jam, second Lead Code, Top Coder, Code Chef, Hacker Earth, Hacker Rank, and Spots.com. You can get many other platforms also, but these are the most famous one. So I will show you one of one by one. So first of them is Google Code Jam. Google Code Jam competition is held every year by the Google, and if you see the problem on which you can practice they are here and year wise all the problems are given although these problems are a bit uh, high level problem and we, we have some time constraints constraints here but uh, for practice uh, you, you, you can uh, always attempt these kind of questions so there are year wise questions you can see here 2013 12 and so on it goes and goes on and on the second one or maybe I can uh, show you one problem here and the first one is qualification round and you can see the problems here in qualification round we have 27 hours to complete the problems and we are given around uh, uh, four problems all right so there are Two, uh, two size of inputs one is a small input for which you will be getting five points and then is large input you need to solve the pro uh, solve the problem using a code and then you need to upload the upload that code on the website so this is uh, one of its kind but in generally when the, the companies are asking problems they are not of this uh, this type of problem second website is lead code if you go to the problem problems you will see a lot of sections here you can see there are a lot of categories algorithm database and all that and there are some problems for which uh, there is some title acceptance uh, ratio and difficulty level if you go to the first problem which is two sum let's let it be upload okay now the page is loaded so we can see the problem is given an array of integers and we need to return indices of two numbers as that they add up to a specific target let us suppose we have been given this array 2 7 11 15 and we need to find out two numbers whose sum is 9 so here is we can we can find it out easily uh, by looking it, uh, at the problem but in the code we need to do it uh, uh, some uh, uh, the, in a different manner if I want to approach this problem I, I would like to do it in in a way uh, that I would like to see if the array is sorted or not uh, or not sorted if the array is not sorted I can sort it and then I can use two pointers one from the front and another from the back so the pointers keep on moving towards each other uh, to find the target sum so this kind of approach will work in this program and if you see the coding platform we have given multiple languages we can attempt a problem in any of these C, C++, Java or Python or there are other languages also JavaScript or Ruby you can use any one of them so the language is uh, not a constant in competitive programming another website 
which is top coder you can log in and see the uh, see the um, uh, means problem how the problems are being uh, given in this in this platform second one is codesf there are a lot of practice problems here and they are divided into different uh, different types like beginner level easy medium hard and there are some challenges so if we go to the easy level we will see some problems here and in easy level if you open this first problem uh, there is a, a lot of description for the problem then there are inputs and the kind of outputs the problem will uh, the program should give us then there are some constraints and there are sample input output and finally there is some explanation to the problem and if you click on the submit you will be able to get some editing uh, area where you can uh, write your code in any of these languages so c c++ java javascript pascal python these, these are some common languages that are used in uh, all the platforms now if you if you move towards hacker earth there are some different sections here as well if you go to the basic programming you will see some of the basics of input and outputs and there are some problems given here so you, you, you can re read this section also and what are runtime errors if you get uh, any in a, in your program what does that mean different codes what what are their meanings and all that and here is the editing area and you can select any of these languages so there are lot many languages here then uh, similarly there is another platform sports.com and there are lot of problems listed here and the user who are attempting the problem are also being given here finally i'll be talking about hacker rank uh, which I think is the one of the easiest platform to work on and its interface is also quite good so we can we can search uh, any of the problem in these section and attempt those and let's go to the data structure and I would like to click the first one this will be the easiest problem so the main point in solving these kind of problems or handling competitive problems is to understand the kind of inputs or the constraints on the input so in this problem we are given an array means if this is this is just a description that array is a type of data structure that stores elements of the same type in contiguous block of memory in an array a of size n each memory location has some unique index unique index that can be referenced ai and we are given an array of n integers we need to print element in reverse order as a single line of space separated integers and this line is very important because we need to print uh, elements or these uh, numbers separated by spaces if you if you if you put some comma or if you put a new line character in between these um, elements that will give an er error so you need to you need to see it carefully so there are some input format in which the input will be given the first line contains an integer n which is the number of integers in in your array and the second line contains all the integers right so then there are some constraints we need to follow the constraints carefully and now there is output format where we will be give, uh, where we need to print all the n integers but in reverse order so the thing that I have seen in competitive programming when students are performing those uh, the, the performing or writing the codes the first thing they start they start writing like this printf enter size of array 
and he, he uh, this is the point where they are making mistake because we have uh, we have been already given an array right is it, it is saying that we have been given an input in this format so we don't need to write all these things printf we don't need to write um, these things we can go to the code and see what the code uh, code is actually doing at this moment so this is scanning or uh, this is uh, taking input n which is the first line you have been told here so this is sample input and this 4 is n which our uh, program is already taking care of it so it's uh, n then it's allocating a uh, dynamic memory of n size where all the n numbers will be in uh, where all the n elements will be integers and then it's uh, taking input for all those n numbers so as of now if you see we have n numbers in an array arr now our task is to reverse these numbers the main thing that you need to uh, focus or you need to keep in mind in, a, in any competitive programming is that uh, no, nobody is going to check the uh, the thing that uh, if you can write print f or uh, like that they, they will be they are interested in knowing the logics that that you can apply to the given problem so if we talk about this problem what you can do we need to print the reverse so i can start with an index array n which i will start with n minus 1 because there are indexes from 0 to n minus 1 so i will start with n minus 1 and i want that array n to be greater than or equal to 0 and i will keep on decrementing it in every loop right and then i can print this index in every iteration but for that so i have made the mistake here i need to do percentile d and this should not be double quotes here and as we have been told that the integers should be space separated so i will put a space here and now what you can do you can try to run this program as we have been given here run code and with the run code the code will be tested on only a single single input and if I, if I see here there is some mistake I have made so run code is very good to check the kind of things or kind of errors you have made in your program so if you have, if you have some, uh, any error it will point it out here it is processing so I can see yes congratulations you have passed the sample test case you can see the input was this my output is this and the expected was this that means i have passed this test case and if i have passed this test case that doesn't mean that my code is totally correct because when i will press this submit code there will be many more test cases so let us click the submit code and try to see and if you can see here there are 0 to 8 that means 9 test cases and i have passed all of them so it's good for me but uh, every time you are attempting you know, this kind of question you need to uh, keep in mind that uh, all the test cases are being passed and uh, do, do not uh, do not try to uh, write uh, these kind of messages that uh, print f enter two numbers and all that because that, that's really uh, that's really doesn't doesn't matter in these kind of problems or competitive pro programming here we can also see that there are a lot of uh, um, a lot of uh, programming languages like C or C++ or I can show you Java or Python. So most of the most of the uh, companies will be offering you these uh, languages to work on. So you don't need to uh, means uh, afraid of the selection of language. You just need to focus on the logic that you are working on if your logic is correct you will easily go through it so i think this is enough for this lecture if you have any doubt or query you can write me a mail or you can put it the comment put it in the comments 
I will try to revert back your queries. Thank you so much.